Okay, everybody. Um, please feel free to uh, mirror this as best as you can. Please get the information about this out. The uh, title does not lie. 8,000 people captive in Seattle, some raped and beaten, and this is uh, being mirrored from another channel. Um, the one that's showing this content is the Exile Lamb 1. Um, I'll go ahead and play the video out there for you all, but please get this information out there. This is uh, serious. Good evening. This is horrible. I'm still reporting on 8,000 people held captive in Seattle, some raped, robbed, and beaten. We suspected this was happening, but now there is a first-person account. This just can't be happening in America. It must end. An anonymous person just put up this emergency broadcast. The time has come for the president to send in the Delta Force and the SEALs. He said tonight at his rally that this would take less than an hour to clean up. These Americans are suffering right now. The time of this little communist experiment has come to an end. Even Seattle's chief of police says that there are rapes going on inside this area right now. Um, our 911 uh, response times have tripled in the area. They've gone from just over five minutes to about 18 minutes. Rapes, robberies, and all sorts of violent acts that have been occurring in the area they were not able to get to. Bikers for Trump have promised to ride to Seattle on July 4th and retake the armed camp for America. But the president needs to move before it comes to vigilante justice. Shalom, my friends. This is very urgent. I have a friend of mine who I've had on Facebook for three years. He lives in Seattle, Washington. He is one person that is stuck with 8,000 American citizens in a six-block long, densely populated area. And he says, after I put this on air, he has to delete his Facebook because of Antiva or any of them, and they're going house to house now, kicking in doors and harassing people. He says, after I make this statement to tell the world what is going on in the concentration camp that is now set up on American soil by Antiva and Black Lives Matter, he said he has to delete his Facebook and get it out and actually destroy his phone because if they find out that he's in contact with people outside, they'll kill him or beat him up. Now, he has witnessed, he said Antifa, these sissy liberals, cross-dressing sissy liberals with Black Lives Matter thugs by their side are going door to door kicking the door in. They're not knocking. They're kicking the door in while people are in their homes. They're telling people to pay them reparations, to give them money. They're looting their houses while the people watch and the kids scream and there's nothing they can do. Today alone, 4,000 calls to the police department came and the police can't do nothing about it because the liberal mayor won't let them. Meanwhile, men and women and children are being sodomized and raped by these liberal sissies. This is all very real and it's going on today in an American city that has been overtaken by terrorists. And if they can get by with it one city, they're gonna do it again. My friend said that he witnessed looking out his apartment, he has a small apartment, he looks down and he sees rows of men. Some are dressed as women, queens, with Black Lives Matter, black men, coming up to people's houses and if you resist and, they, and they'll beat the crap out of you. Many people are bleeding today in their houses. Many people have lost everything in their houses. They're made to pay reparations and money. What little they have is gone. And your pride is next. They, I, my friend said he witnessed, he heard a man scream. He was with his wife and children, and the man told them to get out. They overpowered him, and they raped him in front of his wife and children. That's what's going on in America. He said he heard the black guy saying, we're doing to you what you have done to us for years. This is Antiva. This is the real Black Lives Matter. Who well, unto you churches and you businesses today donating money to Black Lives Matter that really don't. They could care less about any other black person but themselves. They are wreaking havoc and injustice in America. We have a Nazi concentration camp going on in the United States right now, and we need to do something about it. Trump needs to send in the federal troops because these aren't Americans anymore. When you take over our land, you take over our cities, our people, you throw the government out and the police out, you are no longer an American. We have eight to 9,000 people trapped in a city. Stuff that only movies are made of. Trapped in New York City, it's actually 
shooting a live event today. Things are going to get worse. And the more this goes on, the more these little freaks think it'll be all right to do it in Jacksonville or in Cleveland or in Texas. And they're getting ready to do it. You know, they're trying to hit small town USA. President Trump withstood an overthrow of the government by the Democrat liberals. All right. And a collusion. Of, by the Democratic liberals. It has been made comments for the last three years that the Democrats want power by any means. And they're getting it. This is a Democratic-run riot with liberals running around cross-dressing many women and Black Lives Matter who have always wanted to get a little payback. Now they have a city in the grips of their hands and police are on every street corner but can't go in. And a Democratic liberal mayor says, they're just having a festival. They may be having a festival, but the people stuck in their homes are being tortured and abused. And we won't know the full implications until it's all over and people start coming out and telling, I was raped, I was robbed, I was beat up, my daughter was killed. Things are going on in that city, and we need to know what's going on. We are in a crisis in America. It's getting out of hand, and it's got to stop. My fellow Americans and patriots, do not wait for these thugs and liberals to come down your neighborhood. You need to go to them. Shalom, everybody. It's getting very dangerous out there. America, we've been invaded. Oh, man. Just the very thought of that shit has got my blood boiling. All those damn people, man. All those damn people. Them kids don't need to be exposed to stuff like that. Nobody should ever have to go through anything like that. Nobody. Everybody, do the best you can to detox this stuff out of your system. Strip this damn nanotech out of your system and take back your freedom. Don't ever let them have their freedom. They try to they, now they don't now technically they don't have your freedom, right? But they're manipulating the structure within both your mind, your you know, your sense of mood, and your environment as well. When they do this when this gang stalking shit starts. God's coming after every single one of them. You best believe that's gonna happen. And there ain't gonna be no place they can hide. None. Every last one of them will be found and brought to justice. I can feel that in my very bones that that's going to happen. They won't get away with this. No, not by a long shot. Stay safe. Stay strong, everybody.